Russia lost at least 100 aircraft during the war in Ukraine, according to information provided by British intelligence. According to intelligence data, the Tu-22M3 strategic missile carrier bomber that crashed in Russia's Stavropol territory on Friday was downed by Ukrainian S-200 missile despite the Russian Defense Ministry statement that the Tu-22M3 crashed due to technical malfunction and after completing a combat mission. The plane crashed in a deserted area. The main intelligence directorate of the Ukrainian Defense Ministry claimed responsibility for the crash of Tu-22M3, a source within the Ukrainian army told RBC Ukraine. This is the first strategic aircraft that Ukraine managed to destroy during a flight, the source said. He added that after the crash of the Tu-22M3 bomber, another plane flying behind it turned around. According to the Crimean Wind Telegram channel, the plane was shot down after its attack on Odessa region. The plane pulled to the airfield in Mozdok, but crashed in the Stavropol territory, the source noted. Fighter Bomber Telegram Channel associated with the Russian Aerospace Forces reported that the bomber's engine caught fire for an unknown reason. Meanwhile, Christopher Cavalli, commander of the U.S. European Command and NATO's Supreme Allied Commander Europe said that Russia has lost about 10% of its military aircraft since the start of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Cavalli did not name the exact number of aircraft lost by Russia, saying only that these were several aircraft. According to the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Russia has lost 347 aircraft and another 325 helicopters since February 24, 2022. According to British intelligence, Russian A-50 reconnaissance aircraft was also hit by S-200 missile over the Sea of Azov.